and edits graphics, videos, and presentations. He needs dual monitors for that. So we've placed the second monitor. Now we need to get that all connected up. So first thing, we need to select and install a PCIe video card that provides dual monitor support using DVI and HDMI. So I want to pay close attention to the two connector types. So let me get into the motherboard. I'm going to zoom in here and look over at my GPU's expansion cards. So I need DVI and HDMI. So this one's VGA, this one's DVI, HDMI, and this one's DVI, VGA, and HDTV. So I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to go ahead and slide it into the slot. Okay, and because it's a GPU, we need power. We can see it has six pins on it. So I'm going to click on my power supply, or you can click on the bundle of power cables. And I'm going to find my six pin power cable. And drag that over and connect it up to get a power. Okay, so now I can go and look at the back and we're going to see I have my HDMI and my DVI connector. So we've got the power supply connected. Now we're going to connect the original monitor to the new video card using the existing DVI cable. So that's this guy right here. And if you aren't sure, you can always look at the back of your existing monitor and click on the cable in the back there that's providing the video and you notice this one's lit up too so i'm going to drag that down onto my new card normally you would shut your computer off before doing all of this so i just want to mention that too these labs don't make you do that but uh, i would never put a card in a computer without shutting it down first okay so we've moved the DVI cable, now we can do HDMI. So I'm going to click over here in my inventory, get my cables, click on my HDMI cable, and I have my two connectors up top here. So I'm going to plug one of them into my video card. I'm going to slide over to my new monitor and look at the back. And I'm going to plug the other end oops, of my cable back on the cable and plug the other end into the back of my monitor. Okay, so now we need to power on the computer. I guess maybe it thinks we did, but it didn't have us do that. So it's already powered up. I'm going to flip my monitors around. And you can see I have video on both of those. Okay, so now we need to make the new monitor our main display. So in here it says with the start menu and taskbar, uh, you can definitely do it that way, but the easiest way for me is if I just right click on the desktop and you can choose display set. So now that we have display settings, we are going to, we need to make our new monitor the main display. So if you hit identify, sometimes it'll show you the right number. I think it does on monitor one, but monitor one is the existing, was the existing monitor. Two is the new one. So I'm going to click on two. Yeah, see, and if, we, if I hit identify, it doesn't identify it for me. I don't know why the lab doesn't do that. Normally you would see a two, but I'm going to scroll down. And in here we have a checkbox for make this my main display. So now monitor two is the main display. And the last step is it wants to drag the screens to reflect their physical placement. So if I go back and look at my desk, you can see this is my new monitor, monitor two. This is my old monitor, monitor one. Two is on the left, one is on the right. So when I come back into my display settings, I need two on the left, one on the right and then click apply. So now when I drag the mouse from one screen to the other, they'll be in the right order. So we should be good to go. Let me hit score lab and we got it all. Thanks for joining.